Hey there Aquarius, welcome or welcome back to Stars Line to Oracle YouTube channel and the lucky stars community. Cat Star here and the power's out. So we're just doing lots of readings today because there's not a lot else to do. Actually, there's a whole heck of a lot that I can do, but I'm just feeling pulled to do a bunch of readings. So these readings for the most part, except for the one later, will be timeless readings, just getting messages out there. They'll probably be fairly short, but we'll see what happens here. All right. As a reminder, my readings are for entertainment and are general in nature. They may or may not resonate for everybody. So please do take what is for you and leave it as that for those of you liking and sharing the videos. Thank you so so much it does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise also i want to just give a huge shout out to all of you the new and returning viewers and subscribers the channel members all of you all of you all of you i love you all so much i'm so honored to be able to share some energy with you and i am super thankful for each and every one of you all right so we have the um mystical shaman oracle which I use once in a while, but I do use the book with it. So we're going to see what, whoa, Lordy. Okay. Well, um, we have a lot coming through here. So, uh, okay. Wow. Um, wow. I'm a bit overwhelmed <laughs> just at the looks of it because I know I get to lucky me read these out so you've got number 42 let's do that you've got number 55 you've got number 37 and you have number 35 so 10 so there is a completion coming through of some sorts for you here okay kind of a little bit mind-blowing so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna yeah do this okay um 42 is our first one i'm gonna go ahead and get this open for the book here because this is one that we read so i am going to be practicing my reading today did not know this was happening but here we are the power is out again um uh, let me reiterate that the power is out so uh, i'm just recording a whole bunch of videos timeless videos and whatever else uh, to get messages out for you guys because that's what i'm feeling called to do the screen is a bit dark i'm sure i do have the little lights and the candles i do have a an emergency light back that way that's on i do have the window open but Hopefully the message will come through and there's enough light because what I see when I record isn't always what comes through for you guys. So I'm hoping that this is going to be okay. Okay. Whew. All right. Without further ado, the rain maker. Look at this. You've got, you've got so much. You've got the rain maker taming the wind, the moon and the medicine wheel. Wow. Aquarius, you, there's a storm potentially coming. Okay. That's what I want to say here. There's a storm potentially coming. There's a potential just with the rainmaker and the taming of, uh, taming the wind. There's a storm coming. You've got the moon here too. That could bring up a lot of stuff. It's almost as if like there's some confusion potentially, or things are being highlighted, but it's like the rain and the wind is coming to clear things away or to kind of cleanse something for you. That's without, that's just intuitively the message coming through. Um, but let's go ahead and see number 42, the rainmaker. This is the essence says the rainmaker is the master of manifestation who can call on the elements of nature to serve the greater good when the power to co-create is used with integrity, great beauty and benefit flow to all. Beautiful. When this power is used for personal gain only, everyone suffers. So be of service. Okay. When the earth is parched, the rainmaker calls the waters from the heavens and all that is dormant in the fields and in people's hearts springs to life again. See, it's like a cleansing. Okay. Um, the invitation, the rainmaker is calling you to create something new from the elements that are already in your life. So use your resources to your benefit, Aquarius, okay? Be sure you work with what is and not with what might be or could have been. Oh, shit. Yep. Pull yourself into this present moment, Aquarius. Am I present? Am I grounded? Am I present? Am I grounded? You can always do that to kind of pull yourself back into the moment and ground yourself if you're getting a little kind of up in the sky or kind of flittery flirty, right? Like the rain comes through sometimes. The seeds that have been uh, the seeds that have been silently germinating in your heart will burst forth ready for the sunlight. Do not hold back. Put all your chips on the next roll of the divine die. So also taking a bit of a risk. Isn't this gorgeous? There's, she has, um, the person, the image, it appears to be a female, but it's not gender specific. It's about the energy, but appears to have, 
wings and then also you can see that there is um kind of a moon energy it's kind of a darker moon energy in the background now most of these do have that but uh, yeah, so you're being asked, Aquarius, to kind of step up. There's that cleansing energy coming through with the rainmaker. It's like the rain comes through or the rain pours down to cleanse the earth, to cleanse the energy, to start fresh and to start anew, okay? So this is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Create what is, right? Or create from what is. Don't go back to the past. Don't, right, allow the seeds to germinate. You're not out there digging them up and being like, hey, what, what, what's happening? Are you coming? Are you, are you spreading? Are you going to come? Is it going to happen? It's going to manifest, right? You just let it be, let it be, and let it happen, let it come through. But use the resources that you have to create service in, in an energy of being of service to everyone, not just to yourself, okay? This is really about getting out of your own head and not allowing yourself to kind of be um, the, the only person that you think about. All right. Now, look, we have the sun, which that talked about the sun and the eight of pentacles. So see, coming through here with that energy right there of that vibrancy of creating a new right after the storm comes the sun generally not always but and or a rainbow it's like you have this beautiful energy that's ready to burst through right you've got um this energy with that eight of pentacles also of, of coming to a place of kind of mastery realizing that you have resources realizing that you can rise above realizing that you know there is an energy of cleansing and that you can be of service and that you can use that to benefit others and to also also reap the rewards okay so gorgeous energy coming through with that so we're going to go ahead and well, I guess we'll put these out here because those are the ones that came out with that let's go ahead and look at taming the wind that one is number 55 there is a completion here as well because you have two tens coming through here interesting interesting so you're coming to a completion somewhere here Aquarius but there is also that energy of that potential storm okay taming the wind the essence coming through with this here the feather a symbol that is used in clearing ceremonies for smudging reminds you of the sacred commitment you make to your life this is a symbol of consciously bringing the spiritual into the material, infusing the world with reverence and an acknowledgement of the higher planes of existence that influence and animate all of life. The feather is a symbolic reminder of deliberately entering into a partnership with the great spirit to co-create for the highest good of all. So see, this is coming through with this energy of Christ to be of service for all, right? to to manifest what is for the highest good of all okay the invitation it's time to clear your energy be present and become conscious of how you communicate there this is a good time to write in a journal and put your thoughts into a cohesive form perhaps you need to actually do a smudging ceremony in your home or office creating a sacred space to write about your dreams and desires just remember that when taming the wind appears as a symbol it is time to honor the great spirit with reverence and respect so see there's a potential aquarius um the the rainmaker and taming the wind came through with the moon we're going to get to the moon in just a moment uh kind of bringing things up with that cleansing right the storm before uh, energy potentially some of you have been in a space or in a place of being kind of um tunnel vision towards your wants your needs kind of where you are uh heading or what you're wanting and and really manifesting kind of um selfishly right there's times where selfishness kind of comes through or being selfish and making sure your cup is full as well or making sure that you're not overwhelmed right i got that overwhelmed feeling in the beginning um the, there's times where that is beneficial but for this specific reading coming through here Christ, uh, that is actually detrimental okay there is this energy of needing to be of service use the resources that you have manifesting or doing things for the highest good of all not in kind of a um backhanded or a sneaky or kind of even a trick or trickery kind of way okay this is really coming through 
with this energy taming that wind and and the rainmaker that storm there's a potential that a storm's going to be coming okay this is what i'm getting on the side from the messages here of course there's a potential that a storm is going to be coming or a storm is brewing um to get you back on track okay to get you back on track towards the highest good of all and using the resources that you have to be of service to the many not to the one okay now you have the queen of pentacles coming out here and at the bottom you have the 10 so see you have 10 10 10 this is coming to a completion this is coming to a head the storm is brewing and it's going to come through really quick and really heavy here Aquarius there's burdens that you've been holding there's this energy with this ton of wands that you have been creating uh, unfortunately right you you felt a duty or you felt stressed or you felt as if potentially there was no other way uh to do this right for some of you that overwhelmed feeling with that ton of wands is coming through you felt like this was how you had to do it you felt like this was how things had to come through but you aren't really looking towards the resources the things that you had the the skills potentially that you have or the knowledge that you have right um because you have that uh eight of pentacles here right so some of you have a lot of skill or a lot of resources or you're a master at something and yet you've kind of um allowed yourself please don't this is the message coming through um you've kind of stayed a fool to none and in the in the aspect of really holding on to creating this energy of bright days for you or this hope for bright days for you but had the almost caused or the the um energy of kind of being a burden even almost to others interesting energy coming through this one's coming through a little hard hitting here Aquarius but um you're being asked to rise up and to be in the service of others to rise up to use your resources for the many to rise up and to think of the highest good for all when creating when manifesting when whatever it is that you're doing or whatever it is you're moving towards of course you're being asked to rise up for the many okay not to allow yourself to stay down see now you've got that partnership down at the bottom with that two of cups but the queen of pentacles also came out and that queen of pentacles she's a very savvy practical lady right non gender specific male female it's about the energy but she's very savvy she's very practical she she's very generous and caring and nurturing she knows how to create from a space of of kind of feeling um open if that makes sense she creates from an she doesn't create from an, a stingy or a closed off place she creates from a very open and creative a very generous caring nurturing place she has a very good sense of resources or of like um um money and material things she has a very good sense about that but she's open and she shares that openly as well she doesn't close off or try to keep it to herself and so that's what's coming through for you with this okay now you have the moon next which is number 37 so let's go ahead and read what that one says there's double meanings coming through here, Aquarius. So you have the meanings here and then the energy also, okay? So the moon, the essence, every 28 days, the moon manifests a steady progression from darkness to light and then back again. Beautiful, okay? This phenomenon in our skies has a powerful impact on our human psyches. It offers us the certainty that after periods of emptiness and darkness, there is a light waiting so we can be reborn into a new phase. This calls to mind a native African prayer to the moon. May our lives be renewed as yours is. Beautiful, right? The moon also has an, a strong energy on the ebb and flow of waters on the earth. This same power in turn affects human feelings and emotions and mirrors their rising from or hiding back into the unconscious you see um so you have the two messages almost this dual message coming through of christ but there is a completion here this storm is coming up to bring this into the conscious energy to make it illuminated so that you can see it so any confusion about maybe if you're having struggles or difficulty but you're being very one-sided and that's being reflected back to you if you're being very greedy very one-sided very right um 
stuck in struggles but not willing to to assist others in in whatever area it may be the easiest thing from even giving a smile or having an, a non-grumpy attitude for just 10 minutes or not even complaining right um if you're really stuck in, that's what's mirrored back to you and so that opening that being of service or that uh, for the highest good of all or that generosity or that openness that great creative openness like the queen of pentacles it's not being reflected so you have this dual message coming through here aquarius um but you have that you can become conscious you can see that right let me read that last sentence again this same power in turn affects human feelings and emotions and mirrors their rising from or hiding back into the unconscious okay the invitation the moon spends equal time in the dark as it does in the light of the sun Okay, and now it comes to remind you of this balance, right? Right, we've talked about, right, if, if everything is for yourself, then right, but if you can get out, you can't, we talked about kind of that selfishness a little bit earlier, where you can't give from an empty cup, and if you're overwhelmed, and if you're spread too thin, and, and all of that kind of stuff, right, but also, um, so you need to be selfish in self-care and allowing self-love and allowing yourself to replenish and, and really uh, rejuvenate and write all of that for sure. Not ever going to say any different. We all need that. But also there are times where we can get a little too selfish or one-sided or tunnel vision towards ourselves, our own wants, our own um, perceived needs, where we can put others kind of... Um, in a place where we're like, now your stuff doesn't matter because I'm the only person here and that's what's coming up here, Aquarius. Okay. So if, if, it, if this resonates with you, it may be time to take a look, see what's being mirrored back to you. And if that's not what you want, then it may be time to obviously make that conscious, which you would be doing, but also change that, shift that. Okay. Balance it out. There is time for light and there is time for dark. We go to sleep at night. Well, most of us, right? Or a lot of us. Uh, and we're awake during the day. That's the night and the dark, right? Um, have you been too focused on outer achievements, productivity, or social engagement engagements? And I'm going to add for yourself, okay? Or have you spent too much time hidden from the outer world, not wanting to interact or show your face? Mediate on the significance of the moon cycles and let it gently guide you out of your bottomless steps. Head back to the world of outer expression and connection with others. Let it help you make time for yourself, your feelings, and your essential human and spiritual needs. You see, so this is that back and forth, right? That back and forth. It's okay for you to replenish. It's okay for you to be selfish, right? Uh, at times, self-love, self-care, right? Taking time for yourself, maybe even taking yourself to dinner or for a date or a movie night, right? Um, which sometimes can be difficult for certain people so that's another thing coming through here this right uh, it's time to kind of rise above and also allow yourself to be in this is a balancing out this is this is allowing for yourself to use your time wisely to allow yourself to be selfish and indulge in yourself at times but also to remember there is a uh, potentially a bigger picture that is inclusive of you and of allowing yourself to be of service and for the highest good of all kind of energy open creative instead of closed off when you are selfish and you replenish you fill your own cup and you do you are generally more open it does generally bring more clarity it illuminates things it brings it to that conscious level where you're like oh okay you know what when I love myself I have much more space much more room I'm much more open to allow that same love out to other people right and then that two of pentacles which was excuse me two of cups which was at the bottom here comes through you feel as if you're more connected there's more of a union or partnership with the people around you whether that's the people you work with your lovers your or lover your your family your friends the people that you love however that comes through you feel more connected you feel as if you have more to give okay um but the storm is coming aquarius or you're in the midst of it because it's here to bring that clarity. All right. Right. Um, the hermit here at the bottom as well. And the ace of swords, you see, uh, 
that her, the going in and having that reflection, allowing yourself to be like, okay, okay, these are my goals. These are my dreams. These are my wants. These are my wills. These are my wishes. This is what I'm moving towards. This is right. All of that stuff. And how can I do that? But also be open and caring and loving and not be so me, me, me. How can I be, okay, we, me, we, me, I need to relax. I need to recoup. I need to rest a little bit. I can't spread myself so thin. I also would like to be able to, um, you know, help at the community garden or do whatever, but this is a truth. There is a truth coming to light through the storm, through this illumination, through potentially confusion into that truth. Okay. This energy is big and it's bold Aquarius, and it's going to be right in your face because when storms come and they're like, and the wind is blowing and everything is happening and then the moon and, and every, it's all dark and what have, have you, right? It's in your face. You can't deny it, but that truth is coming through. There is that, that kind of double-sided edge to this, right? That, that ace of swords, that double-sided edge, this, this kind of energy of both. Okay. You can balance out and create, do both. You can have the light and the dark. You can have the, the energy of being selfish and being selfless at the same time. Okay. It's a balancing act. And for some, it takes a little bit of work. I know that there's days where I have to remind myself that, Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. This isn't, this whole world isn't just about you, right? It's not just about you. I, I have to remind myself that too. In fact, I said last night, you know, this world, you, this is your world. I said this to somebody else. This is your world. We're all just in it. And it gets to be a little bit better when we can all be in it together. Okay. The, the, I said that to somebody else because, you know, I, I, yeah, but I digress. Let's go on to the next card because this reading's getting awfully long already. So the medicine wheel is the last one you have out here, which is number 35. Let me get this book open to number 35. I hear, see, I said earlier, I think these readings are going to be pretty short or I was hoping. And now look, I, it, it becomes pretty long. That's all right. The message needs to come through as it does. The medicine wheel. The medicine wheel is a sacred hoop with the four cardinal directions well marked. So this is the wheel of fortune. Basic. I'm sorry, the uh, world, basically. Interesting that it's coming through, right? A completion, okay? Um, this represents the cycle of life, the cycles of nature, the circular pattern of our cosmos. This, it has been used for millennial in millennia in indigenous cultures to bring harmony and well-being to the village. Its direction symbolized the four steps the shaman takes to become a person of power and wisdom. You see, so this is coming together. It's coming full circle. You have these two sides that are coming, that storm and that understanding, okay? That, that storm that's coming to bring this to the conscious level, but also all this beautiful sun energy and the, the queen of pentacles and the two of cups and the ace of swords, the truth coming out, right? Um, this energy of rising above, of being of service, this energy of, of allowing yourself to be selfish and selfless, right? It's all comes full circle. It's coming full circle in a big way, Aquarius. So this storm is coming to bring this to the conscious level, to bring that illumination, to bring that clarity, that truth out so that it, it can be Kind of moved into this energy, okay? Uh, harmony and well being to the village. Its directions symbolize the four steps the shaman takes to become a person of power and wisdom, okay? The invitation to manifest clear blue skies in your life. It is important that you take a look at certain aspects of your being. You see, this is exactly what we've talked about all the way through this. Enter the medicine wheel. This is just full on, full on, big in your face confirmation right here, okay? I'm sorry that it has to be so in your face, of course, but sometimes that's what we need. Sometimes, right? Um, enter the medicine wheel from the south and reflect on how you are still clinging to events from the past. Bam. Okay. Continue to the west and notice what re which relationships are toxic and drain your energy. Holy-ish, right? Step into the north and ask yourself, do I know my passion and show it? <gasps> Who are you being? Oh my gosh. And at the east direction, visualizing how you want to live the next chapter of your life. 
powerful Aquarius. Okay. Major, big, huge. Okay. It is up to you how much time you spend in each direction, minutes, days, or months. That's your reflection right there. That's your hermit right there. But when you are done, make sure to step outside the wheel and contemplate your journey. You see? Beautiful. You can't make it up. All right. Let's see. Let's see. What is with that? You've got double queens here. Double queens. Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Okay. And you've got the Queen of Cups here. So the Queen of Cups coming out here with letting yourself have that emotion, letting yourself be in that space, in that place, letting yourself um, be compassionate, be warm, have that comfort, right? Be that supportive and step into that Four of Wands, that 1111 energy, right? Isn't this gorgeous? Now you see you've got that, um, you have completion, okay? You have the 55 here you've got the 37 here right and then you have the medicine wheel which is basically the uh world coming through here okay which is a completion so there's a completion on the way aquarius there's a lot of celebration there's a lot of joy with that four of wands there's this energy of of feeling at home within yourself like finally understanding okay what it is or how to balance it out it's almost as if you are like okay spirit angels, guides, higher self, right? Assist me in balancing this out, okay? If I am being a little bit too selfish on one side or the other, how can I balance that out? The storm is coming. How can I How can I make that conscious? Or potentially seek uh, some assistance, a professional to assist you. But there is that harmony. There is a completion. There is this coming to light or coming to conscious energy, right? It's coming full circle, of course, but it has to be in your face for you to be able to see it, for you to be able to bring it to the conscious level, for you to be able to step into that, okay? This has been a very big reading. I'm actually going to end it here, but there is a lot of joy. There is a lot of celebration. 11, you've got that completion coming through, Aquarius, okay? Um, and it cut off, so now I'm going to have to splice these together for the last couple of seconds. <laughs> so you will see Power Director in the corner down there, but what a beautiful message coming through here, Aquarius. Of course, it's in your face because it can't be ignored, but that truth is ready to come through, okay? That higher that higher um, being of, of service to others, um, being in that higher the higher state or the the highest good of all when manifesting or when creating, but also when living life in general, right? Um, really allowing yourself to go through all of the phases and to see uh, this this energy. It's this has just turned out to be a huge but gorgeous in your face kind of message that somebody really needed to hear. And now it's going to be clipped together, so there's going to be two parts anyway. I'm going to end it here. Okay. I do intend this resonated with you and for you. If it did, please do hit the like button and share this video. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. Also, feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload new readings. It is free for you to subscribe to the YouTube channel and it does support the Lucky Stars community in growing and thriving. As always, I do wish you lots of hope, lots of joy, and lots and lots of love with all of your current and future endeavors. I'll see you in the next reading.